Yeah. Welcome to Midas Minds. And we're back. This is Tyrant333. I got another great video for you. And here today and on this channel, this is where we turn thoughts, passions, and ideas into gold. And I just wanted to tap in with the community real quick and anybody who's watching about how to stay motivated as an entrepreneur. Um, there's a lot of things that get thrown at you in this world of entrepreneurship and it's vital that you have all the right tools to stay sharp and stay successful in this field and the key number one is the reality of entrepreneurial challenges it isn't always glamorous and always and always fun it isn't always easy I actually talk to a lot of my clients and they say that, you know, they transitioned from different nine to fives. And when they got over to working for themselves or for themselves, you work twice as hard because you got to sustain that business. You got to sustain your clientele. You got to sustain your revenue. So you got to work twice as hard. You got no boss. Only one who's telling you to get up and do that is you and your motivation. And that's the only thing that's going to carry you through as an entrepreneur. You got to be highly motivated, highly consistent and ready to persevere because there's going to be things that are thrown at you like obstacles, things you weren't expecting, life events. And that's going to change the whole landscape of everything you're doing at every turn you take. So what are you going to do when that time comes? There's a lot of entrepreneurs who try this and they cannot succeed at this because they cannot continue to move and evolve and adapt as things get thrown at them. So always remember that it's about discipline and commitment. The next step, step two, would be to set clear goals and break them down. Make them clear, actionable goals. Think about your long-term vision, but break it down into smaller, manageable tasks. Every day is a new opportunity. Break it down hour by hour if you have to. Get very good at time management. That is one of the most critical assets you can have as an entrepreneur. Get great at managing your time. It's, that's our best asset. That's our biggest asset and our best asset that we have as people here on this earth is to manage our time correctly. Every day, every week, every month, knock down another milestone. And when you do that consistently, then over time, you generate a nice body of work for yourself. Progress, no matter how small, builds momentum and keeps you on track. So always remember that. Step three, celebrate the wins got to enjoy this stuff you got to remember the times where you had success even if it's small every little success counts stack them up because that's what's going to keep you motivated to keep going you know don't always it's good to look forward and progress to the future but don't get so tunnel vision on that that you're not looking at every time you succeed because then you're going to look at the whole totality of what you're doing as a failure if you don't celebrate these small wins as they come don't celebrate for too long get back on track but when you do win celebrate even if it's a day even if it's an hour even if it's a couple minutes make sure you celebrate affirm that success out there to the universe so you can bring more of that back to you the next thing number four i would talk about is remembering your why why did you get into this why are you doing this and why are you striving for success what did you envision when you first got into the vision, the business, the brand you're building? When you went down this entrepreneurial journey, what was that first thought you had in your head that made you want to go down this path and keep that ingrained in your heart? Use that as bulletin board material. You're doing it for that reason. And always go back to that. When things get cloudy, when you don't know where you're headed with things, that's what's going to keep you back on track. Your why. Why? Why is it what pushes you forward when the challenges seem overwhelming? Keep it up front in the center of your journey. Five, I would say surround yourself with like-minded people. Start finding the closest people in your circle, your city, 
in the different fields that you're doing things that you can build with because when you don't feel like you can keep succeeding or keep moving forward those people will be able to help you keep your confidence up and let you know that remind you of your why and the different things that you have done the small wins across your path that will uh, keep propelling you forward so keep the right people around you and also don't keep people around you that will set you back bring you back the lazy people who don't want to get out there and work and put in that work and that time because that's what's going to take for every individual we can work in a group but at the end of the day we're all walking our own path so you want a bunch of people on that are walking their own path and that are successful and feel success and confidence in what they're doing because that's going to rub off on you they say you're like the most people you spend the, the five most people you spend the most time around so keep that in mind always adapt stay curious is number six stay motivated also means staying flexible things won't always go as planned but being able to adapt and find new ways to tackle challenges keeps your energy up keep learning stay curious and always find new ways to do things think outside the box if you're thinking all right this sounds crazy it's probably because no one's ever done it and you're setting yourself ahead of the curve at that point everything was crazy at one point everything was imaginary everything was all right yeah that's not possible but if you're the first person doing that thing then it's going to be a little uncomfortable until you make it comfortable and you make it the standard for everyone else out there so those are for the trendsetters and the game changers out there take care of yourself at the end of the day it isn't just about work you have to take care of your physical and mental health hit the gym read books meditate surround yourself with the right people positive people go love your family your girl your kids show positivity out into the world and that'll come back to you tenfold because that's what the sum of taking care of yourself all equals up to and eight that magical eight number that that money number is having a long-term vision being a visionary staying motivated is about keeping the long game in mind building something great takes time this isn't done in a day rome wasn't built in a day Midas minds wasn't built in a day all these great businesses apple and microsoft they weren't built in a day as long as you're consistent and committed you'll see progress even if it's slow at first so always keep that in mind and some powerful tips I just gave you on how to stay motivated as an entrepreneur. The road can be tough, but with the right mindset, discipline, and support, you can stay motivated and turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. Remember, the mind is powerful.